Hello there, this is Mikhail or Michael speaking. Happy Easter everybody. So to the situation in Bakhmut. This is the Samalot district or plain district where Russians have achieved big success and had finally reached the Chuykovskova street here. They had captured most of the high raised buildings and as you can see these ones are the only ones left. If we go and see here there are no high raised buildings so it is safe to say that with the control of these high raised buildings Russians will gain control over entire sector. There is a video that I want to show you of this sector here. It is shot from probably this building right here. Mind you, it would be without a sound, but it will give you good context of what is going on and how the sector looks as of right now. So again, the cameraman is located here and this is the POV of what we are able to see. Then we move to this sector where Russians are attacking continuously from the Karsonskova street in the direction of this school right here, as well as in attempt to reach Tchaikovskova street here as well. They are also attacking from Karsonskova street and are advancing along street Sheroka in the direction of the remaining Ukrainian forces to the east of the rail lines. The Russians are also attacking along the street in the direction of the train station and are fighting in Verkhny Park or Upper Park. As you can see Russians have captured small portion of the rail lines. In fact if we go to Google Maps and drop ourselves somewhere right here as you can see right here this should give us a perspective of what is going on on the fields of battle. So as you can see a big territory for Russians to cover approximately 200 meters and that's how we know that this success here is major and absolutely crucial. They had crossed Bray line and are now fighting in the forested area here. Then we go to the north of Bakhmut where Russians are continuously fighting in the Rose Alley as well as in this sector. Now there are some reports that Russians have captured the school here and the surrounding area as well but I'm not sure if I can trust those sources but the reports had came in so I reported it. Hey if you like my content so far please consider liking, subscribing and commenting as it promotes my video to more and more people. And also please consider supporting me on Patreon. Just know that every cent, every penny, every dollar that you would give me would go into putting food on my table and helping me with paying rent and bills. Thank you in advance and have a good day. Fighting continues in this forest towards Hramove. And Russians are fighting in this sector in the attempt to cut off this road. Then we go to Bogdanivka where situation had not changed. Russians were able to dig in and now holding the outskirts of this settlement. They are conducting limited offensive operations towards Grigorivka, fighting in Arikhovo Vasilivka and along E40 highway. Situation in the Seversk front had not changed. Russians are attacking towards Spirne Verkhokamyansky and are tangled in positional warfare style in Bilaharivka. Here in Serebryansky forest and around Dibrova, Russian sources had claimed some success, but I guess we should wait for more confirmations. The overall situation in Kriminal Liman front had not changed. Both Russians and Ukrainians had become suspiciously quiet and inactive. However, the lack of actual advances, Russians are compensating with massive artillery strikes in Zarichne, Yampalivka, Terny, Novosadove, Novolubivka, Nevsky and Makivka. Now we go to the Avdiivka front. Russians are continuously spreading their zone of control around Novobakhmutivka and are holding defense along the railroad and launching occasional attacks towards Stipova and Birdichi. There are reports coming in that the Kamenka had fallen and people in my comment section said that Kamenka had fallen but once again there are no photos or geolocated images that prove that. Russians are also attacking from Apitne towards Avdiivka itself and from Vadyane towards Severne and Tanenke as well as they are attacking from Pesky towards Pervomaisky and Neversky. 
Then we go to the Marinka front. Once again, situation had not changed. The village of Pobeda surprisingly still stands. Russians are unable to achieve any success here north of Marinka. They are still fighting along the Druzhba Avenue in the center of Marinka. We also have reports of Russians attacking towards Novomikhailivka and in the general direction of Kustantinivka. At last we have Vuglidar. Now the situation here is also without change. Russians are continuously fighting in this zone where the dacha area is located as well as attacking towards the mines. But again a lot of open fields and Russians are having trouble advancing here. Before I say goodbye, I want to show you a video of basically of Ukrainian trenches so you would get a better understanding how miserable life on the front lines is. Again, unfortunately, video will be without sound because they add copyrighted music. So here we go. When I first watched this video, I immediately had a flashback of one time when I watched a video about World War I trenches and the situation there was exactly the same. Just imagine through how much misery those soldiers are going through. So anyway, yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, humanity calls me to condemn all violence against human beings. Hope you have a great day and great Easter. And always remember, Russia will be free.